Hey there, fellows. Okay, so there's this running theme that comes up in our videos sometimes. I'm talking about tires that are resistant to getting punctured. We've tried concrete, freezing water, pouring in Coca-Cola, using construction foam. But nothing really worked. Which is why today we're visiting our friends who soundproof cars. And they're gonna help us make some wheels that are actually impossible to puncture. Let's do this. So if you haven't been in our merch shop for a while, we have added a bunch of cool new stuff. Such as these handmade wallets and holders made out of genuine leather. It's a must-have for any dude who needs a reliable and convenient place to keep his documents. We also have an assortment of t-shirts, caps and key fobs with a fresh design. There is a lot to cover, so better you head on over to our shop and check out what we got. For anybody who places an order right now, I'll slip in a card with my picture and my personal autograph. Make sure to use PayPal to pay for your order, so that it goes through with no issues. Add something new to your collection of Garage 54 merch, and receive a card with my autograph. So head on over to our online shop, and the link of course is gonna be in the description. Filling tires with sound insulation foam, making them puncture-proof. Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. Okay, check this out, guys. Here is what we've done. We have unseated the wheel on one side, and we've drilled a bunch of holes, in case something were to go wrong. It's to relieve any excess pressure, so that the material has a way out. We have no idea where this is gonna go. One, two, three. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. Now you take it, we have to stand clear. I think it's time to let go. We need to cover it with something. Because of it? Oh, look at it go. Hey, why'd everybody run away? That's how it always goes. Yeah, I realize nothing horrible is gonna happen. Yeah, oh, for sure. Let's get the hell out of here. I mean, I can stay put. No, I'd better step away. You can remove it, Sergey. It's already seated. I know, right? I think we'd better move away. Is that like two atmospheres? Oh, holy cow. Is the tire seated? It sure is. And quite well at that. Oh, it barely even weighs anything. Yeah, like it's inflated. Let me set this aside. How much did we pour in? Two kilograms. Oh, it was two? Let's put two and a half into this one. Okay, sure. How long will that take? 28 seconds. What, for real? It's gonna take half a minute. Okay, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, and just run it for another ten seconds. Let's go. That'll do. That's it. Time to get out of here. It's time to leave. Oh, holy cow. Look at how it's pouring out.
Okay, so check this out, guys. We've waited a couple of days for the foam to dry. And now the wheels, how do I say it? There is some pressure, but it's not terribly... And here's something interesting. If I push down on this and let go, it restores its shape. I have a feeling this might be that non-Newtonian liquid experiment all over again. Hey, there is only one way to find out. These are ready to be installed. So let's see how well they do, shall we? And now the moment of truth, so to speak. The wheels are in place, we're looking good. No need to be gentle. There we go. Touchdown. Come on. Mm, that doesn't look half bad. We thought it'd be crushed. But it's actually holding up okay. It's something people do for more grip in the winter. The thing with deflating tires is that, yeah, you might improve the traction, but they're also gonna roll worse. That's bad for fuel economy. So let's bring the car up and try rolling into it. We thought it'd be just the same. So we've decided to roll into it. That's to ease the load. We are gonna have to drive slowly, yeah. But what can you do? I am super curious to see what's happening back there. Seems to be driving all right. Doesn't feel at all like the tires are deflated. No, it actually is rolling a bit worse. You can definitely feel it. Yeah, this is pretty much what I expected would happen. While the wheels are rotating, pressure is being applied to the contact patch and then quickly relieved. And the foam isn't getting crushed as a result. At least that's what I noticed on this side when I looked. As for what's happening on the right, I'm not quite sure. That wheel did seem to be deformed to a lesser degree. I am fairly sure that it's doing even better. Now that I've stopped... Oh. Really? Okay, so here's the situation. This wheel... It feels pretty soft. It's been... Now on this wheel, we didn't just drill holes in the sidewall. We drilled through the tread as well. The reasoning behind that being, the guys insisted there be a relief. The foam expands by 17 times, they thought the tire would explode. When in reality, here we are. As for why it didn't attain the pressure we were looking for, well, the one that has holes in the sidewall only... Let's go take a look. It looks very nice. Here we have the holes that were releasing the excess foam. And yum. This is holding up quite nicely. So this is about the same, and now I suggest we fill another wheel. All right, so check this out. We've done another wheel. Let's go for a drive and see what's up. Mm, spun the wheels a bit there. But it's all right. Right, let's see what we've accomplished here. We seem to be all right so far, but that time everything also appeared to be in order, until I got back. So I'd definitely better do a short lap. Let me take another look. We are doing well from the looks of it. Great, it's holding up fine. I mean, yeah, it, it feels pretty elastic. 
Notice how it's rocking back and forth. Okay, so the polyurethane foam is working rather well, and as such, we've prepared this thing, which we're gonna lay down and drive over. Come on, keep going. Well, it did pierce the rubber, but it didn't go all the way in. There are just too much of them. We should maybe remove half of them and leave just three in there. Okay, so we've reduced the amount of screws. Okay, that went beautifully. That looked very good. Back up. They've got just the right rake. Yeah, now they definitely pierced the tire. More than once, even. Okay, so now... I guess I should drive a bit on the punctured tire. It might even deflate. Or perhaps not. If it holds up, it means we're on the road to success. Still, though, I should monitor what's going on. So far, so good. No wobbles. No knocks. Wonderful. Are we good? Okay, let's lay the plank under the other one now. Where are you going? Did that do anything? Yeah, I also thought I heard it hissing. Okay, so if that didn't work, let's do this a bit differently. Let's try imitating a sidewall puncture. It is hissing. Do you hear that? Any thoughts on why there's air in there? Shouldn't it just be foam? Oh, that's residual air in the foam? Okay, then. I've punctured it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Never stabbed a tire. Let's go to the tire shop. They got plenty of bad tires for us to poke. Okay, well, let's see what happens. So apparently these holes in the sidewall didn't let all of the air out. There was a lot of it in there. And now the wheel is sitting on the rim. Unlike the one on the right, where we riddled the sidewall with a good... I don't know, like eight holes? That wheel is filled with foam and it's doing well. The foam, well, you crush it, and then it restores its shape. Something does tell me that if I were to drive around, we'd see a non-Newtonian liquid effect. At the end of the day, if it expands, I mean to say if it restores its initial shape, then it's bound to do that on the move, right? Let's see if that's true. Okay, well... Let's see... I can't really tell. I really don't know. What's going on back there? Yeah, I'd also say that it's rising ever so slightly. What do we got? Is it rising? Oh, it's at least not on the rim. Okay, you get in while I observe. I really can't tell from in here. Well, something is happening. We are seeing the effect I predicted. And that's great. So it got crushed in one spot?
<laughs> that was cool. Not anymore, huh? Yeah, it's risen. It did do that. So here's where we're at with this, guys. I think I figured out how to set things right. As a matter of fact, the wheel does rise when it spins, but this one contains... Yeah, there's just way too much air in it, which wasn't expelled when we poured in the foam. But on that side, everything is just lovely. Check it out. It's in good shape, and it's only barely deformed. The reason being, well, look. We have got a bunch of tiny holes through which the air was escaping. And there's barely any of it left in there. So yeah, the foam works. And though this is a bit crushed, which is going to result in slightly higher fuel consumption, at the end of the day, we seem to have done something right here. This particular foam is pretty soft. And density is apparently a thing. I guess we'd better look for a denser type. So if you guys are interested, we could... Well, it's not going to be rock hard, but it'll be quite a bit firmer than this. We are oh so close to actually figuring something out here. You guys feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. And that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later. Пока.